Hi, my name is Jason with Push Capture. I'm here today with Sasha Sloan. Hi. And today we're going to show you how to take a portrait. All right, for this part, we're just going to do a natural light portrait. That means we're not using any lights or modifiers. And to do that, with our camera settings, we're just going to set them so that the environment is exposed the way we want. So in this case, we have lots of natural brick and concrete that's all reflecting the soft light of the sun. One, two, three. Nice. And if you could like pull your hair. What I like to do is I like to bring people away from the background because if you're right up close to it, that kind of, kind of I think kind of pushes you together. But if we bring you apart, it adds more depth, which makes the picture more interesting. Okay, so those images look really good, but we can make them look even better by adding a reflector. So this is a reflector. We have a silvery and a white side. Because we have cloud cover right now and the light's not really bright, we're gonna use the silver side because it's really lustrous. So it's gonna add a really nice spectral quality. And what we're really looking for is to add some really nice um, lighting in her eyes. Uh, when you have someone with beautiful eyes like Sasha, the worst thing you can do is not light them up. Bring this down, you wanna bring it below her. That kind of fills in her face. And I think in the photos, we're gonna see a big difference. They just keep this one kind of static. Um, so hands down, just like that. Got some hair. To add a little more dynamic to this shot, what we're going to do is turn so that the sun is to the back of Sasha. That way her hair is going to be lit up slightly from the sun. The light's not too bright, but it's just going to add a little bit more dimension to how these portraits look. Okay, so we're here at the, the exchange place in Salt Lake, and we're gonna show you another method for lighting a portrait. So we tried natural light. This time, we're gonna introduce a really bright key light. We have these beautiful gold doors and concrete pillars. So we're going to set our camera settings so that the environment's kind of dark, and then we're gonna have this nice bright light coming in on Sasha. You ready, Sasha? Yep, I'm ready. All right. A little moody for this one, just kind of like bring it down, yep. Nice. <laughs> the wind is, is really picking the up. Like, I probably like George Washington. Okay, so we just did that without the light. Now let's see how it looks when we add a light. One more time, one more time. Let me just make sure I'm catching your eyes still. Looks like I am. A little more smart, a little more smart. Same thing, same thing. Just like, bringing the finger down a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna show you our last method of doing portraits. We use two lights in this setup. One is a giant soft box that we use as a key light to fill in the shadows. And then to add a little more drama, we're going to add a hair light or what's called a kicker that we'll have behind our subject. So that kind of outlines them and adds like a, just kind of a little more edge and, and excitement to the shot. So for this setup, we have a we have a large octabox, and so I'm going to show you what this looks like with just one light on. Okay, come right over here, Sasha. 
Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, cool. That's nice. Boom. All right, this has been How to Take a Portrait with Push Capture. Uh, it's been so fun working with Sasha today. If you want to check her or follow her out on Instagram, what's your handle? It's at Sasha E. Sloan, S-A-S-H-A-E-S-L-O-A-N. -S -S and we'll throw that down in the description below. Hey, thanks, Sasha, so much. This is really awesome. Have a great day. We'll check you out next time. Yay.